Hi, and welcome to Kathy Talks. I'm Kathy McCann. Today, I'm following up to the first video with more information on setting up your online dating profile. From the results of my survey, I'll be covering the things that women are looking for, from your appearance to how you dress to your personality, characteristics, and traits. I have some great info and advice for you, so stay tuned. I'll be right back to give you all the details. Welcome back. So when I created this survey, most questions allowed women to pick more than one answer. Since there were so many questions, I decided not to give you each of the percentages as I bring up each response. But I will give them to you in descending order. If you're interested in specifics, you can click on the survey results link in the video description area below. I'm going to jump right into what's important to women regarding your physical appearance. This was really interesting, but perhaps not surprising, at least to me. Topping the list is that they really like a nice smile, followed by good teeth, and they prefer average looks. Yes, you heard me correctly, you do not have to be a movie star material type of guy. I absolutely agree with the consensus here, and I believe it's the whole package. And it's so true, looks are really only skin deep. But you need to let the lady see these things if you ever want an opportunity to dazzle her with your amazing personality. In your pictures, let them see your smile, your teeth, and your eyes. You just got to do it. Keeping with the theme of appearances, I asked about his hair. What were they looking for? So hold on and don't freak out. The majority said hair really doesn't matter. Next, they said, I think graying hair looks great on a maturing man, and so do I, quite frankly. A smaller percent prefer a full head of hair, followed by bald is fine, and only 10% of the ladies prefer that hair doesn't look like it's thinning. I'll be doing another video segment on thinning hair in the future, so if this is an issue for you, you may want to keep your eyes open for it. I have some great information that I want to share about that. Now someone left a comment that long or unkept hair or long scruffy beards are not of interest to me, she said. I personally have to agree here, and I am not a fan. I wish I had thought, though, to include questions regarding face, facial hair, but since I'm bringing it up, a mustache, a goatee, or a beard that is too short hurts when kissing, kissing, anywhere, that is, if you know what I mean. Let it get to a stage where it's soft to the touch, not prickly. I just had to throw in my two, own two cents there. The next question is related to your stature, and I asked if he was to include a full body picture in his profile, what body type would you like to see? Number one on that list said, not a fan of the beer belly. Number two was they prefer a man with a medium build, followed closely by an athletic build, followed. Next, they preferred a stocky build to a slim, so be careful if you think that you should lose that extra five or 10 pounds, it might just put you in that too slim category. Now, this final one is one that I've always known, and I doubt that most men are aware, but only 14% of women like a muscle builder. So if you're working out like a demon, trying to get like Arnold, you might want to take a break because it is not a turn on for most of us women. In fact, it can be just the opposite. If you're doing it for you though, I say carry on. How you feel is incredibly important to how confident you come across. Just don't do it thinking that you're impressing all the women. And just so you know, the two areas we really don't like to see bulk is when uh, you get those great big muscles on your neck and when your arms are so big they don't hang down properly at your sides. We call that the gorilla look, sorry. Now, having said all that, you'll probably never see a woman cringe when she sees a great set of abs. <laughs> By the way, 69% think every guy should include a full body picture. Recent. I also asked women what they preferred in terms of your height. Now remember, A, there is nothing that you can do about how tall you are, and B, there really is someone for everyone. So the vast majority had a preference for a height between 5 foot 10 and 6 foot 4. Just less than half said that they prefer a height between 5 6 and 5 9. And a tiny number said a height between 5 2 and 5 5. 
What's really interesting is that more than half of the women said that you should definitely include this in your profile, and they also said that these preferences are not necessarily set in stone if they found the right guy. Only 17% that these are strong preferences. A woman's own height will possibly play a role in the height that she prefers. As a petite woman myself at 5'2", I can tell you that my first husband was only 5'5", five five, and it was wonderful for kissing. I loved it. But I've also dated men as tall as 6'4". Now, personally, I think that was a bit excessive since I came up to about his nipples. Quite a sight for our pictures, and together we looked pretty odd in my opinion. But it was the person I was attracted to. I've also dated men at all heights in between, and honestly, it doesn't make a huge difference to me. To some women, though, it is really important, and they want to know upfront. You're very unlikely to charm these girls into ignoring this very strong preference, by the way. Please don't lie about your height just so you hope you've got the opportunity to meet someone. The deception becomes clear the moment they meet you and your credibility goes right out the window. You won't be able to woo them in with your charming personality if you've deceived them right out of the gate. You really need to trust me on this one. In my opinion, I would put your height in your profile and if they're going to judge you negatively on that, my guess is that they aren't worthy of you anyway. So in keeping with looks, how you dress yourself matters to some. I asked them what they would want to see, and this is what they had to say. A vast majority said it would be nice to see him wearing the typical clothes he's most likely to wear in his pictures. And next they said they don't care as long as he looks great in whatever he wears. And then they prefer a casual laid back look, jeans and a shirt. Now here is something I want you to pay attention to. 38% said clothing brands, etc. don't impress me. So you might be able to save a few bucks and just buy clothes that suit you and worry less about the label. And only 14 think wearing stylish and name brand clothing is impressive. A small percentage of women would accept you in track pants, but I would not be one of those women, just saying. See, there is someone for everyone though. In summary, Take pictures wearing the kind of clothes that you would normally wear and let her see who you really are. Take full body shots so she knows what she's dealing with. And if you're a heavy guy and you're okay with your weight, you need to own that and be proud of who you are. And that will make a far better impression than hiding behind face shots and surprising her on your first date. I know that you would prefer women to do that too. I get it and I totally, totally agree. Now I want to get into the type of characteristics that are important to women. These are the things that they're looking for. A huge percent want a guy who's warm, and I don't think that they mean in the temperature department. Followed closely by they want you to have your own friends that you like to spend time with. And next they're looking for a romantic guy. Now wow, <laughs> that's a surprise. Almost as important, women want a man who will support their need for personal time. Interesting. The next ones are fairly close. They're looking for someone who is intellectual, compassionate, sensible, outgoing, someone who's helpful. Being open-minded was very important too. And what if that's being open-minded about seeing things her way maybe? They want you to be non-judgmental and for you to be vulnerable. And I think that means being able to share your feelings, your worries, your fears, and your concerns. And believe it or not, but many of us find that that brings you closer to our hearts. A little less than half want you to be practical and want you to be adaptable. Or is that another word for moldable, changeable? Hmm. Approximately one third want you to be accepting of other cultures and would like it if you were calm and unemotional. Over a quarter would like you to be carefree and objective followed by predictable, and finally little interest in those that are analytical. What is up with that? Are they really saying don't question my logic because there may not be any as far as you're concerned? I found all of this very interesting. And I wonder if there are any gender differences if we were to reverse and ask these same questions of what men thought was important. <laughs> finally, 69% said it would be helpful if he could articulate these things, if they were true about him and his profile. Yep, women want to know these things before they get in too deep. And frankly, I think it's a great idea to get rid of the ones that aren't a good match before you even have time to buy them a coffee. 
At the end of this video, I'll post up a slide with the keywords to remind you of what you should include. Now, don't go plugging in all those things into your profile if they aren't a true representation of who you are. No false advertising. Remember, you don't like it when they do it, and neither do they. So I want to go back just a bit. The number one trait women want to see in someone who is warm. So what does that mean to you? I'll give you my interpretation. I think it's when you meet someone and you feel really comfortable with them and they with you. When maybe you reach out with both hands to touch theirs instead of a handshake or perhaps a hug if you feel the vibe. I think it's when you smile a lot, when you laugh a lot. I think it's when you're thoughtful in your responses and you can show empathy and caring. I think it's if you like to hug or hold hands, and I'm not suggesting that this is necessarily on the first dates, by the way. I also thought it was interesting that so many want to ensure that you have your own life going on, and they also want you to respect that they have theirs. If I was a guy, I'd be certainly appreciative of that. It's nice to do a couple things together, obviously, but having your own space and time to do what you want is important. You might want to find a way to word that in your profile if it is important to you too. Now, in regards to your personality style, these are the things that women think are appealing to them. Down to earth, doesn't need much to be happy, is the clear winner. Followed by a family man who loves spending time with the whole family. Just over half like the outdoors man, hunting, fishing, camping, and quite frankly, this one surprised me, but good for you if it's you. Make sure you include some pictures in this environment in your profile if it's your style. Next, they like a Mr. Fix-It who loves to fix stuff for everyone. That's my guy. And just over a third are attracted to a man who is traditional and conservative in his values and ideas. I have no idea how you'd take a picture of that, by the way. And hey, you're in luck if you like to be active, playing hockey, tennis, soccer, golf, etc. There are women who like that. The adventurer or world traveler has a following too, and I bet you you can so, show some pictures of that. Just make sure that you're in them and don't get too carried away with too many. Only a quarter prefer that you're a socializer, loves to party and get out of the house. Even less are into the techno man where all things electronic are on his radar. And if you're an armchair sports fan, love your TV and the games, you've got a whopping 19% of women who are good with this. Hmm, this might be where the alone time with your guy friends needs to come in. So what if you're a self-proclaimed bad boy? A bit of a rebel, maybe a motorcycle? Well, let me just say that there are even fewer women attracted to this than you might think. Sorry about that, guys. And if you're considering yourself a kingster, a try anything once kind of guy, only 12% are into this. Now, if that's an important part of your life and you aren't going to change, you don't want to settle for a very vanilla sort of lifestyle. You really need to put this out there in your profile. As I've said before, there is someone for everyone, but you don't want to be attracting women who are not willing to support you in this. So just be upfront. Now for the real surprise, a top achiever where their career is really important, only 8% of women think this is good. Yep, that's it. Think back to the first video in the series where I asked women about men's income, and this is fairly consistent. Being at the top of the food chain is not necessarily attractive to women. I believe their priorities are more about family and compatibility. 92% said they definitely think you should include these types of things in your profile so they can see if there is a match. I agree. Oh my god, there was a lot of stuff there, and really, what does it all mean? Face it, they just want you to be perfect. Well, maybe not. But anyway, I'm going to give you a summary of the key elements so you don't have to remember all of those details. That was just like way too much information, even for me. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so let's see. It all started with a nice smile, good teeth, average looks. Hair really wasn't that important in the whole grand scheme of things. But in case you missed it, beer bellies are not in vogue. And if you have one and don't like it, then lose it. And if you can't, then make sure your pictures show you as you are. A full body picture is a must. We ladies don't like surprises any more than you do. Your height is your height. Not a thing you can do about it, but at least be honest. She'll appreciate it. Wear clothes that suit you and your personality. 
and if you feel smart and fancy clothes, go ahead. But the ladies seem to be quite happy with the jeans and shirt if they look good on you. Women are looking for a warm and romantic guy who has a circle of friends that he can hang with from time to time so they can get some alone time as well. And since romance is certainly up there, perhaps you should talk a little bit about what your idea of romance is to give her a feel for that. Apparently they soak that right up. And they really dig a guy who's down to earth and are good with spending lots of time with family or the great outdoors. Make sure you can find a way to express that in your profile if these things are important to you too, but only if it's true. Well, that's it for the summary, and we've certainly covered a lot of ground here, and I'm hoping that a few things that I said struck a chord with you. And just before I sign off, there are a couple of things that I really want to drive home, and they are be who you are, be proud, put some effort into your profile, and if you think it's all too much work, then you probably feel that the energy you need to put into a relationship is too much work too. So don't bother wasting your time or theirs if that's the case. Secondly, you never get a second opportunity to make a first impression. Take your time with your photos and get them up and get them up right away. Make sure at the very least you have one very clear headshot with you smiling and another full body shot and smile in that one too. Remember, women just love men who smile. I wish you great success in your endeavor to find your next beloved or your next date. Keep it real and you're going to do just fine. Please remember to like this video if you did, share it with your friends and be sure to subscribe. I'd love it if you'd leave me a comment with what you thought about this video or if you had any questions that I could help answer or what you would like to see in an upcoming video. Thanks for watching and until next time, I wish you all the joy and peace in your heart, the kind that no one can take away.